The Pala Empire Bengali, Pala Samrajya was an imperial power during the late classical period on the Indian subcontinent, which originated in the region of Bengal. It is named after its ruling dynasty, whose rulers bore names ending with the suffix of Pala protector, in Sanskrit. They were followers of the Mahayana and Tantric schools of Buddhism. The empire was founded with the election of Gopala as the emperor of Gada in 750 CE. The Pala stronghold was located in Bengal and Bihar, which included the major cities of Vikrampura, Pataliputra, Gada, Mongar, Samapura, Ramvati, Varendra, Tamralipta and Jagadala. The Palas were astute diplomats and military conquerors. Their army was noted for its vast war elephant corps. Their navy performed both mercantile and defensive roles in the Bay of Bengal. The Palas were important promoters of classical Indian philosophy, literature, painting and sculpture. They built grand temples and monasteries, including the Samapura Mahavihara, and patronized the great universities of Nalanda and Vikramashila. The Proto-Bengali language developed under Pala rule. The empire enjoyed relations with the Srivijaya Empire, the Tibetan Empire and the Arab Abbasid Caliphate. Islam first appeared in Bengal during Pala rule, as a result of increased trade between Bengal and the Middle East. Abbasid coinage found in Pala archaeological sites, as well as records of Arab historians, point to flourishing mercantile and intellectual contacts. The House of Wisdom in Baghdad absorbed the mathematical and astronomical achievements of Indian civilization during this period. At its height in the early 9th century, the Pala Empire was the dominant power in the northern Indian subcontinent, with its territory stretching across parts of modern day eastern Pakistan, northern and northeastern India, Nepal, and Bangladesh. The empire reached its peak under emperors Dharmapala and Devapala. The Palas also exerted a strong cultural influence under Atisa in Tibet, as well as in Southeast Asia. Pala control of North India was ultimately ephemeral, as they struggled with the Gurjara Pratiharas and the Rashtrakutas for the control of Kannauj and were defeated. After a short-lived decline, Emperor Mahapala I defended imperial bastions in Bengal and Bihar against South Indian Chola invasions. Emperor Ramapala was the last strong Pala ruler, who gained control of Kamarupa and Kalinga. The empire was considerably weakened by the 11th century, with many areas engulfed in rebellion. The resurgent Hindu Sena dynasty dethroned the Pala Empire in the 12th century, ending the reign of the last major Buddhist imperial power in the Indian subcontinent. The Pala period is considered one of the golden eras of Bengali history. The Palas brought stability and prosperity to Bengal after centuries of civil war between warring divisions. They advanced the achievements of previous Bengali civilizations and created outstanding works of art and architecture. They laid the basis for the Bengali language, including its first literary work, the Charyapada. The Pala legacy is still reflected in Tibetan Buddhism. History Topic. Topic. Origins Topic. According to the Kalampur copper plate inscription, the first Pala king Gopala was the son of a warrior named Vapiata. The Ramakaritam attests that Varendra North Bengal was the fatherland Janakabu of the palace. The ethnic origins of the dynasty are unknown, although the later records claim that Gopala was a Kshatriya belonging to the legendary Solar dynasty. The Balala Karita states that the Palas were Kshatriyas, a claim reiterated by Taranatha in his History of Buddhism in India as well as Ganaram Chakrabarti in his Dharmamangala both written in the 16th century CE. The Ramakaritam also attests the 15th Pala emperor, Ramapala, as a Kshatriya. Claims of belonging to the legendary Solar dynasty are unreliable and clearly appear to be an attempt to cover up the humble origins of the dynasty. The Pala dynasty has also been branded as Sudra in some sources such as Manjushri Mulakalpa, this might be because of their Buddhist leanings. According to Abul Fazl ibn Mubarak in Ain -i -akbari, the Palas were Kayasthas. There are even accounts that claim Gopala may have been from a Brahmin lineage. Topic. Establishment Topic. After the fall of Shashanka's kingdom, the Bengal region was in a state of anarchy. There was no central authority, and there was constant struggle between petty chieftains. 
The contemporary writings describe this situation as matsyanaya fish justice, i.e. a situation where the big fish eat the small fish. Gopala ascended the throne as the first Pala king during these times. The Kalampur copper plate suggests that the Prakrita people of the region made him the king. Taranatha, writing nearly 800 years later, also writes that he was democratically elected by the people of Bengal. However, his account is in form of a legend, and is considered historically unreliable. The legend mentions that after a period of anarchy, the people elected several kings in succession, all of whom were consumed by the Naga queen of an earlier king on the night following their election. Gopal, however managed to kill the queen and remained on the throne. The historical evidence indicates that Gopala was not elected directly by his citizens, but by a group of feudal chieftains. Such elections were quite common in contemporary societies of the region. Gopala's ascension was a significant political event as the several independent chiefs recognized his political authority without any struggle. <laughs> Expansion under Dharmapala and Devapala Topic. Gopala's empire was greatly expanded by his son Dharmapala and his grandson Devapala. Dharmapala was initially defeated by the Pratihara ruler Vatsaraha. Later, the Rashtrakuta king Dhruva defeated both Dharmapala and Vatsaraha. After Dhruva left for the Deccan region, Dharmapala built a mighty empire in the northern India. He defeated Indrayuda of Kannauj, and installed his own nominee Chakrayuda on the throne of Kannauj. Several other smaller states in North India also acknowledged his suzerainty. Soon, his expansion was checked by Vatsaraha's son Nagabada II, who conquered Kannauj and drove away Chakrayuda. Nagabada II then advanced up to Munger and defeated Dharmapala in a pitched battle. Dharmapala was forced to surrender and to seek alliance with the Rashtrakuta Emperor Govinda III, who then intervened by invading northern India and defeating Nagabada II. The Rashtrakuta records show that both Chakrayuta and Dharmapala recognized the Rashtrakuta suzerainty. In practice, Dharmapala gained control over North India after Govinda III left for the Deccan. He adopted the title Paramsvara Paramabhadaraka Maharajadiraja. Dharmapala was succeeded by his son Devapala, who is regarded as the most powerful Pala ruler. His expeditions resulted in the invasion of Pragyodisha present-day Assam, where the king submitted without giving a fight, and the Utkala, present-day Orissa, whose king fled from his capital city. The inscriptions of his successors also claim several other territorial conquests by him, but these are highly exaggerated. See the geography section below. Topic. First period of decline Topic. Following the death of Devapala, the Pala Empire gradually started disintegrating. Vigrahapala, who was Devapala's nephew, abdicated the throne after a brief rule, and became an ascetic. Vigrahapala's son and successor Narayanapala proved to be a weak ruler. During his reign, the Rashtrakuta king Amogavarsha defeated the Pallas. Encouraged by the Pala decline, the King Harhara of Assam assumed imperial titles and the Saladbhavas established their power in Orissa. Naryanapala's son Rajyapala ruled for at least twelve years, and constructed several public utilities and lofty temples. His son Gopala II lost Bengal after a few years of rule, and then ruled only Bihar. The next king, Vigrahapala II, had to bear the invasions from the Chandelas and the Kalakuras. During his reign, the Pala Empire disintegrated into smaller kingdoms like Gada, Radha, Anga and Vanga. Kantadeva of Harakela eastern and southern Bengal also assumed the title Maharajadiraja, and established a separate kingdom, later ruled by the Chandra dynasty. The Gada state west and north Bengal was ruled by the Kamboha Pala dynasty. The rulers of this dynasty also bore names ending in the suffix Pala e.g. Rajyapala, Narayanapala and Nayapala. However, their origin is uncertain, and the most plausible view is that they originated from a Pala official who usurped a major part of the Pala kingdom along with its capital. Revival under Mahapala I Topic. 
Mahapala I recovered northern and eastern Bengal within three years of ascending the throne in 988 CE. He also recovered the northern part of the present-day Burdwan division. During his reign, Rajendra Chola I of the Chola Empire frequently invaded Bengal from 1021 to 1023 CE to get Ganges water and in the process, succeeded to humble the rulers, acquiring considerable booty. The rulers of Bengal who were defeated by Rajendra Chola were Dharmapal, Ranasore and Govindachandra, who might have been feudatories under Mahapala I of the Pala dynasty. Rajendra Chola I also defeated Mahapala, and obtained from the Pala king. Elephants of rare strength, women and treasure. Mahapala also gained control of North and South Bihar, probably aided by the invasions of Mahmud of Ghazni, which exhausted the strength of other rulers of North India. He may have also conquered Varanasi and surrounding area, as his brothers Stirapala and Visantapala undertook construction and repairs of several sacred structures at Varanasi. Later, the Kalachori king Gangadeva annexed Varanasi after defeating the ruler of Anga, which could have been Mahapala the first. Topic: <laughs> Second period of decline. Topic: Nayapala, the son of Mahapala the first, defeated the Kalachori king Karna, son of Gangadeva, after a long struggle. The two later signed a peace treaty at the mediation of the Buddhist scholar Atisa. During the reign of Nayapala's son Vigrahapala III, Karna once again invaded Bengal but was defeated. The conflict ended with a peace treaty, and Vigrahapala III married Karna's daughter Yavanasri. Vigrahapala III was later defeated by the invading Chalukya king Vikramaditya VI. The invasion of Vikramaditya VI saw several soldiers from South India into Bengal, which explains the southern origin of the Sena dynasty. Vigrahapala III also faced another invasion led by the Somavamsi king Mahasavagupta Yayati of Orissa. Subsequently, a series of invasions considerably reduced the power of the Palas. The Varmans occupied eastern Bengal during his reign. Mahapala II, the successor of Vigrahapala III, brought a short lived reign of military glory. His reign is well documented by Sandhyakar Nandi in Ramakaritam. Mahapala II imprisoned his brothers Ramapala and Sorapala II, on the suspicion that they were conspiring against him. Soon afterwards, he faced a rebellion of vassal chiefs from the Kaibarta fishermen. A chief named Divya or Divoka killed him and occupied the Varendra region. The region remained under the control of his successors Rudik and Bhima. Sorapala II escaped to Magadha and died after a short reign. He was succeeded by his brother Ramapala, who launched a major offensive against Divya's grandson Bhima. He was supported by his maternal uncle Mathana of the Rashtrakuta dynasty, as well as several feudatory chiefs of South Bihar and southwest Bengal. Ramapala conclusively defeated Bhima, and killing him and his family in a cruel manner. <laughs> Revival under Ramapala after gaining control of Varendra, Ramapala tried to revive the Pala Empire with limited success. He ruled from a new capital at Ramavati, which remained the Pala capital until the dynasty's end. He reduced taxation, promoted cultivation and constructed public utilities. He brought Kamarupa and Rar under his control, and forced the Varman king of East Bengal to accept his suzerainty. He also struggled with the Ganga king for control of present day Orissa. The Gangas managed to annex the region only after his death. Ramapala maintained friendly relations with the Chola king Kulatunga to secure support against the common enemies, the Ganas and the Chalukyas. He kept the Sinas in check, but lost Mathila to a Karnataka chief named Nanuadeva. He also held back the aggressive design of the Gahadavala ruler Govindachandra through a matrimonial alliance. Final decline Topic. Ramapala was the last strong Pala ruler. After his death, a rebellion broke out in Kamarupa during his son Kumarapala's reign. The rebellion was crushed by Vaidyadeva, but after Kumarapala's death, Vaidyadeva practically created a separate kingdom. According to Ramakaritam, Kumarapala's son Gopala III was murdered by his uncle Mandapala. During Madanapala's rule, the Varmans in East Bengal declared independence, and the Eastern Gangas renewed the conflict in Orissa. 
Madanapala captured Munger from the Gahadavalis, but was defeated by Vijayasena, who gained control of southern and eastern Bengal. A ruler named Govindapala ruled over the Gaya district around 1162 CE, but there is no concrete evidence about his relationship to the imperial palace. The Pala dynasty was replaced by the Sena dynasty. Geography <inaudible> 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 The borders of the Pala Empire kept fluctuating throughout its existence. Though the Palas conquered a vast region in North India at one time, they could not retain it for long due to constant hostility from the Gurjara Pratiharas, the Rashtrakutas, and other less powerful kings. No records are available about the exact boundaries of original kingdom established by Gopala, but it might have included almost all of the Bengal region. The Pala Empire extended substantially under Dharmapala's rule. Apart from Bengal, he directly ruled the present-day Bihar. The kingdom of Kannauj present-day Uttar Pradesh was a Pala dependency at times, ruled by his nominee Chakrayuta. While installing his nominee on the Kannauj throne, Dharmapala organized an imperial court. According to the Kalampur copper plate issued by Dharmapala, this court was attended by the rulers of Boja possibly Vidarbha, Matsya Jaipur region, Madra East Punjab, Kuru Delhi region, Yadu possibly Mathura, Dwarka or Simapura in the Punjab, Yavana, Avanti, Gandhara and Kira Kangra Valley. These kings accepted the installation of Chakrayuta on the Kanauj throne, while bowing down respectfully with their diadems trembling. This indicates that his position as a sovereign was accepted by most rulers, although this was a loose arrangement unlike the empire of the Mauryas or the Guptas. The other rulers acknowledged the military and political supremacy of Dharmapala, but maintained their own territories. The poet Sadala of Gujarat calls Dharmapala an Uttarapathasvaman, Lord of the North, for his suzerainty over North India. The epigraphic records credit Devapala with extensive conquests in hyperbolic language. The Badal Pillar inscription of his successor Narayana Pala states that by the wise counsel and policy of his Brahmin minister Darbapani, Devapala became the suzerain monarch or Chakravarti of the whole tract of northern India bounded by the Vindhyas and the Himalayas. It also states that his empire extended up to the two oceans presumably the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal. It also claims that Devpala defeated Utkala present-day Orissa, the Hunas, the Kamboyas, the Dravidas, the Kamarupa present-day Assam, and the Gurjaras. The Gurjara adversary may have been Mahira Boja, whose eastward expansion was checked by Devapala. The identity of the Huna king is uncertain. The identity of the Kamboha prince is also uncertain. While an ancient country with the name Kamboha was located in what is now Afghanistan, there is no evidence that Devapala's empire extended that far. Kamboha, in this inscription, could refer to the Kamboha tribe that had entered North India see Kamboha Pala dynasty. The Dravida king is usually identified with the Rashtrakuta king Amogavarsha. Some scholars believe that the Dravida king could have been the Pandya ruler Sri Mara Sri Vallabha, since Dravida usually refers to the territory south of the Krishna River. According to this theory, Devapala could have been helped in his southern expedition by the Chandela king Vijaya. In any case, Devapala's gains in the south, if any, were temporary. The claims about Devapala's victories are exaggerated, but cannot be dismissed entirely. There is no reason to doubt his conquest of Utkala and Kamarupa. Besides, the neighboring kingdoms of Rashtrakutas and the Gurjara Pratiharas were weak at the time, which might have helped him extend his empire. Devapala is also believed to have led an army up to the Indus River in Punjab. The empire started disintegrated after the death of Devapala, and his successor Narayanapala lost control of Assam and Orissa. He also briefly lost control over Magadha and North Bengal. Gopala II lost control of Bengal, and ruled only from a part of Bihar. The Pala Empire disintegrated into smaller kingdoms during the reign of Vigrahapala II. Mahapala recovered parts of Bengal and Bihar. His successors lost Bengal again. The last strong Pala ruler, Ramapala, gained control of Bengal, Bihar, Assam, and parts of Orissa. By the time of Madanapala's death, the Pala kingdom was confined to parts of central and east Bihar along with northern Bengal. Administration Topic. The Pala rule was monarchial. The king was the center of all power. 
Pala kings would adopt imperial titles like Parameshwara, Paramvataraka, Maharajadiraja. Pala kings appointed prime ministers. The line of Garga served as the prime ministers of the Palas for 100 years. Garga Darvapani or Darbapani Someshwar Kedarmisra Bada Guravmisrapala Empire was divided into separate Bhuktas provinces. Bhuktas were divided into Vishayas divisions and Mandalas districts. Smaller units were Khandala, Bhaga, Avriti, Chattaraka, and Pataka. Administration covered widespread area from the grass root level to the imperial court. The Pala copperplates mention following administrative posts Culture Religion The Palas were patrons of Mahayana Buddhism. A few sources written much after Gopala's death mention him as a Buddhist, but it is not known if this is true. The subsequent Pala kings were definitely Buddhists. Taranatha states that Gopala was a staunch Buddhist, who had built the famous monastery at Odantapuri. Dharmapala made the Buddhist philosopher Haribhadra his spiritual preceptor. He established the Vikramashila monastery and the Samapura Mahavihara. Taranatha also credits him with establishing fifty religious institutions and patronizing the Buddhist author Haribhadra. Devapala restored and enlarged the structures at Samapura Mahavihara, which also features several themes from the epics Ramayana and Mahabharata. Mahapala I also ordered construction and repairs of several sacred structures at Saranath, Nalanda and Bodh Gaya. The Mahapala Geet, Songs of Mahapala, a set of folk songs about him, are still popular in the rural areas of Bengal. The Palas developed the Buddhist centers of learnings, such as the Vikramashila and the Nalanda universities. Nalanda, considered one of the first great universities in recorded history, reached its height under the patronage of the Palas. Noted Buddhist scholars from the Pala period include Atisha, Santaraksita, Saraha, Tilopa, Bimalamitra, Danshil, Dansri, Jinamitra, Nyanasramitra, Manjuash, Muktimitra, Padmanava, Sambhogabhadra, Shantarakshit, Silabhadra, Sugatasri, and Varashan. As the rulers of Gautama Buddha's land, the Palas acquired great reputation in the Buddhist world. Balaputradeva, the Sailendra king of Java, sent an ambassador to him, asking for a grant of five villages for the construction of a monastery at Nalanda. The request was granted by Devapala. He appointed the Brahmin Viradeva of Nagarahara, present-day Jalalabad as the head of the Nalanda monastery. The Buddhist poet Varadatta, the author of Loksvarashataka, was in his court. The Buddhist scholars from the Pala Empire traveled from Bengal to other regions to propagate Buddhism. Atisha, for example, preached in Tibet and Sumatra, and is seen as one of the major figures in the spread of 11th century Mahayana Buddhism. The Palas also supported the Saiva ascetics, typically the ones associated with the Golagi math. Narayana Pala himself established a temple of Shiva, and was present at the place of sacrifice by his Brahmin minister. Queen of King Madanapaladeva, namely Chitramataka, made a gift of land to a Brahmin named Bhattaswara Swami as his remuneration for chanting the Mahabharata at her request, according to the principle of the Bhumichhidranyaya. Besides the images of the Buddhist deities, the images of Vishnu, Shiva and Sarasvati were also constructed during the Pala dynasty rule. <laughs> Literature the Palas patronized several Sanskrit scholars, some of whom were their officials. The Gaudariti style of composition was developed during the Pala rule. Many Buddhist tantric works were authored and translated during the Pala rule. Besides the Buddhist scholars mentioned in the religion section above, Jimatavahana, Sandhyakar Nandi, Madhava Kara, Shursvara, and Chakrapani Datta are some of the other notable scholars from the Pala period. The notable Pala texts on philosophy include Agama Shastra by Gaudapada, Naya Kandali by Sridhar Bhatta, and Karmanushthan Padati by Bhatta Bhavadeva. The texts on medicine include Chikitsa Samgraha, Ayurveda Dipika, Banamati, Shabda Chandrika and Dravya Gunasangraha by Chakrapani Datta Shabda Pradipa, Vrakayurveda and Lopadati by Sureshwara Chikitsa Sarsamgraha by Vangasena Sushrata by Gadidhara Vaidya 
Dayabhaga, Vyavahara Matrika and Kalavivaka by Jimitavahana Santhyakar Nandi's semi-fictional epic Ramakaritam 12th century is an important source of Pala history. A form of the Proto-Bengali language can be seen in the Charyapadas composed during the Pala rule. Art and architecture the Pala school of sculptural art is recognized as a distinct phase of the Indian art, and is noted for the artistic genius of the Bengal sculptors. It is influenced by the Gupta art. As noted earlier, the Palas built a number of monasteries and other sacred structures. The Samapura Mahavihara in present-day Bangladesh is a World Heritage Site. It is a monastery with 21 acre 85,000 square meters complex has 177 cells, numerous stupas, temples and a number of other ancillary buildings. The gigantic structures of other viharas, including Vikramashila, Odantapuri, and Jagadala are the other masterpieces of the palace. These mammoth structures were mistaken by the forces of Bhaktiar Kalji as fortified castles and were demolished. The art of Bihar and Bengal during the Pala and Sena dynasties influenced the art of Nepal, Burma, Sri Lanka and Java. <laughs> List of Pala rulers Most of the Pala inscriptions mention only the regnal year as the date of issue, without any well-known calendar era. Because of this, the chronology of the Pala kings is hard to determine. Based on their different interpretations of the various epigraphs and historical records, different historians estimate the Pala chronology as follows. Note Earlier historians believed that Vigrahapala I and Shurapala I were the two names of the same person. Now, it is known that these two were cousins, they either ruled simultaneously perhaps over different territories or in rapid succession. A. M. Chowdhury rejects Govindapala and his successor Palapala as the members of the imperial Pala dynasty. According to B. P. Sinha, the Gaya inscription can be read as either the 14th year of Govindapala's reign or 14th year after Govindapala's reign. Thus, two sets of dates are possible. <laughs> Military the highest military officer in the Pala Empire was the Mahasenapati commander in chief. The Palas recruited mercenary soldiers from a number of kingdoms, including Malava, Kasa, Huna, Kalika, Kanrada, Lata, Odra, and Manahali. According to the contemporary accounts, the Rashtrakutas had the best infantry, the Gurjara Pratiharas had the finest cavalry, and the Palas had the largest elephant force. The Arab merchant Sulayman states that the Palas had an army bigger than those of the Balhara possibly the Rashtrakutas and the king of Jurs possibly the Gurjara Pratiharas. He also states that the Pala army employed 10,000 to 15,000 men for fueling and washing clothes. He further claims that during the battles, the Pala king would lead 50,000 war elephants. Suleiman's accounts seem to be based on exaggerated reports. Ibn Khaldun mentions the number of elephants as 5,000. Since Bengal did not have a good native breed of horses, the Palas imported their cavalry horses from the foreigners, including the Camboyas. They also had a navy, used for both mercantile and defense purposes. See also Middle Kingdoms of India Nalanda Kirkahar Horde Topic Sources Topic The main sources of information about the Pala Empire include Pala accounts various epigraphs coins sculptures and architecture Ramacharita a Sanskrit work by Inhananda 9th century Ramakaritam, a Sanskrit epic by Sandhyakar Nandi 12th century. Subhasita Ratnakosa, a Sanskrit compilation by Vidyakara towards the end of the Pala rule other accounts Silsiltit Tawarik by the Arab merchant Suleiman 951 CE, who referred to the Pala kingdom as Rumi or Rama D. Pal Dus Khyi. Kor Lo. I chose B. Score Gi Byong Kung's Nyermkh History of Buddhism in India by Taranatha 1608, contains a few traditional legends and hearsays about the Pala rule. Ain I Akbari by Abul Fazl, 16th century. 
Topic. References. Topic. Topic. Bibliography. Topic. Bagchi, Junu, 1993. The History and Culture of the Palas of Bengal and Bihar, Circle. 750 AD Circle 1200 AD. Abhinav Publications. ISBN 978-81-7017-301-4. Huntington, Susan L. The. Pala Sena. Schools of Sculpture. Brill Archive. ISBN 90-04-06856-2. Paul, Pramod Lal. The Early History of Bengal. Indian History. 1. Indian Research Institute. Archived from the original on 17 August 2016. Retrieved 28 March 2014. Sengupta, Nidish K. 2011. Land of Two Rivers, A History of Bengal from the Mahabharata to Mujib. Penguin Books India. pp. 39-49. ISBN 978-0-14-341678-4.